We're just gonna keep running and hope I live. We're gonna keep running and hope I live. That's all I can do right now. This is literally the worst thing possible. I'm suffocating, I'm dying, I'm being shot at. We're not gonna survive the fall, all right? Alrighty guys and gals, Gunshy More back here with another video where today we are going to continue working on the base, but specifically we are going to be working on getting the fabricator and power set up today. So we're going to hop right into this. Now I do already have the fabricator tracked here so I can make sure I have exactly everything I need. Now I don't have any of the stuff I need for some reason inside of my smithy. So, what we need to do is actually kind of start organizing some stuff, just so that way I know where everything is, you know, and that way I'm not, you know, running back and forth, grabbing stacks of stuff. Okay, so I got my crystal, now what I need to make is some spark powder, got my cementing paste here as well, so we're gonna let that craft up. And then that should be all I need for the fabricator. Now, once we actually get the fabricator placed, though, things are going to start getting a little bit more tricky here for getting power set up. Fabricator was honestly the easiest thing I could do today. For power, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to need electronics. So that means I'm going to have to get silica pearls, and I'm going to need quite a few. Okay, we got the fabricator crafting up now. And wha-bam. Now we'll take this. I'm going to throw it over here. Got to do it this way. Come on, rotate. There we go. And I'm just trying to put it where I had it in my uh, single player like build test. And then well, bam. There we go. That is a fabricator with absolutely no fuel. Dang. Did not think this one through. So that that's all right. We don't need fuel right now for this. Uh, technically, I can make some. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll make some for this, but technically we don't need it right now because I need to save all the fuel I can get for making a generator because that's just more efficient to use for fuel sources, the generator. Also, I need to throw some uh, spark powder into my preserving there, ugh, preserving bin there before I forget about it. Keep on stuttering. Alrighty, so I got my generator tracked now, and what I'm going to need is 30 silica pearls, in which I absolutely do not have that. So, best thing I can do here for silica pearls is if I go over here, we're gonna open up the Dur Dino Finder. And we're going to search up trilobites. Best option I have right of now. I could just head up here to the river. Yeah, because those are going to be the closest ones. Just zoom in here and we'll track them all. And then we'll head over here. Swing on over on my uh, Cosmo. And we'll just gather up these few. Okay, that was really easy. I just went around the corner here. But here are the trilobites. We're going to take the pike here. And it's actually been a while since I harvested from trilobites. Last time I harvested from them, that was still when I had my old harvest settings. So this is actually going to be more rewarding than it used to be. Now I need to, I need to be careful of sarcos and other things. Because this isn't as safe as the water over by a portal where I normally harvest the stuff from. Like right there, there's obelisk squids and other goodies that one hit will uh, piss them all off. I think there's even a, where'd it go? There's a, where is he? He's right here. There's an ab aberrant cryptoclitus right there. Uh, where'd my trilobite go? Oh, he went right into the middle of the crowd. Okay, let me check and see how many silica pearls I have now, because all the trilobites I tracked are gone. I have more than enough. What I'm going to do here, actually, is just because I know I'm going to need more. So we're going to pull open this again. We're going to search up more trilobites here. We're going to go track these guys all down, harvest them up. And then, after that, I'm going to run back to base here. 
And we'll get the generator crafted up here. And then we'll move on to our next plans for today. Because originally all I had started here was the fabricator and the generator. But this actually went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Okay, so that was the last of those trilobites. And we got a pretty decent chunk. So now what I'm going to do, we're going to run back to base. And we're going to go build the generator now. And I'm thinking what I'm going to need is something to help me get more cementing paste. So like a chitin harvesting chitin chitin harvesting creature and i think i know what i want for it i just am not sure if they have an aberrant variant that will spawn on aberration also for those of you that were wondering how i got over here so quick it's literally right around this corner is my base so if i just swing on over well, bam uh, technically i don't even need to swing here i can just run on this log and we get on over. Our house is right there. See it? So I did not have to go far at all to get over there. So I at least have a decent place where I can go where it's somewhat safe to harvest trilobites. Okay, so that is the components for the generator crafting up. I'm going to untrack the generator here. And then once all these electronics are made, we are going to craft up the generator and go place it. And then that there should be power to the base. As well, now that we got the generator crafted, what I can do is we're going to get these front ugh, frontier lamps crafted up. And we're going to go take them and put them as the chandeliers. And I'm going to just do what I did with that one. We're going to kind of put them up in the corners. Now the ones that are going to go in the middle, tiny, tiny, tiny bit trickier. So the way we're going to be doing these ones in the middle is I'm kind of just enabling their snapping. Then I go line myself up with the exact middle in between both platforms. And then I just disable the snapping and place it. So boom. Now those should all... Oh no you don't. He was going for my generator. I knew exactly what he was in here for. He was coming for my generator. Ah, oh, those North Rose. They, you gotta love them when you have them, but they're a pain when they're going for your generators. But now that that North Rose dealt with, we're gonna go turn on all these lights, and all you have to do is swing up and hit E. It's literally the easiest thing you have to do. Well, bam. Ooh, come on. What's going on? That's one. One more. We almost got this. Come on. Literally just going to keep you guys watching me swing from the ceiling until I get this last light turned on. Might be a little disorienting. There we go. It's on. That is now the lighting for the workshop all done. So this floor, I would say, is somewhat complete, except for the vaults and, you know, the, you know, the rest of the stuff for the workshop, you know, the actual equipment. But that means all that we have left is this floor and then the two floors above it. But this one's almost done. Um, you may notice already, though, I did make a little adjustment. Uh, we no longer have the doorway heading out that way. And the reason that is, is because I put in this doorway because I had a cliff platform that I figured I would use for a little bit of a landing pad here instead. So we got that one placed down there. I think I'm just going to come off of one of these, kind of build out a couple with uh, ceilings. And that will be our landing pad for the Zeppelin when we get here, the blimp. And we'll also have like rock drakes and yilings and all that that we have parked out here to use. Oh, and as well, no one has got an update. So we have a living glider and we might have to we might have to go tame one of those at some point alrighty guys so the chitin farmer that I was trying to get the megatherium does not spawn on aberration neither does a saber tooth of theres you know I'm guessing back on ASE last time I played aberration I played with uh was it aberration editions where it's just more aberrant variants 
in which those things are included. But the best technical uh, chitin harvester that I can get right now on this map is a frog. So we're going to go tame a frog. Now, that is, again, easier said than done because look at where I have to go. We literally have to go into the blue zone to tame one. And I think we're going to definitely go for this one. Just because it's... Yeah, there. So let me get my crossbow, get my arrows, and we should be somewhat ready to go. My biggest concern is we're going to get jumped by Nameless, which I can almost guarantee that that's going to happen just because it's, you know, the blue zone. Where is my crossbow? There's my crossbow. Okay, now just need to do this and we should be ready to go. Okay, we already got a nameless on us because this little boy is glowing here. He's giving me the danger sense. So, we gotta get somewhere where we're gonna lose this nameless. In which, that might be a problem because we're on a steep cliff. And I am actually running out of webbing. That's our last shot right there. Come on, reel me in. We lost him, but you see, see that there? He's went alpha mode. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought, so... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What can I do to get around that? Like, I mean, the clearly easiest option would to be just get a glow pet, a proper one. But then how would I swing around and move? Because I don't have, like, a Rock Drake or a Yiling yet to help me move around the map like that. And which, you know what, that's probably our goal for Friday. Is to get a Rock Drake or Yiling. So, we'll keep that in mind. But, we are somewhat, I guess, over here. And if he passes out in the water, that's fine. I just need to get somewhere over here where I can stand. And I'm trying to get right over here on this cliff. Boom. Nice. Perfect. And look, that is somewhat on the ground. So, I just have to land the shot on him to get his aggro. And he's in the water, so he's going to move extremely fast. Let's pepper this. Maybe we can get something running up to us, so a kill. Okay. Get rid of the Baryonyx. And we'll try and get the frog. Dang it. Uh, come on, Baryonyx. Poke, poke, poke your head out. Alright, one more shot. There we go. I'm kind of trying to hit the frog now with at least one pellet that should at least injure it enough to get it over to us. Because I know that these th this arrow is going to have more drop. Or at least if he could come back up on land, please, froggy. Oh, there we go. Or I could just nail him for a shot. And then he's not going to run up to me. And get rid of the Sarko. Okay, um, this might be more tricky than I thought, because he's now. Alright, we're gonna drop down. We should be safe right here. And we should be able to just punch him with a bunch of arrows. And he's actually trying to punch us with his tongue. So this is perfect. So he thinks he can hit me right there. So as long as I stay right here and he doesn't hit me. There's a Cryptoclitus coming up onto land. Watch it eat the, the Sarko. Is he falling asleep? I think that's exactly what's happening right there. That is why he's running. Ooh, come on. And he's out. He is out in the water. Which is not bad. It's except that thing is right there. So, let me think this through a bit more. But that should work. He's out. He's out. He's in a safe area. Nothing should attack him. Should. Nothing should. That doesn't mean something w won't. Okay, so now I need to run and get him food. And what I have done here is I've just highlighted two Ovises that are on the map. 
Now we're going to run over and, you know, collect some raw mutton. Because that is apparently the best thing that we could get for him right now. So that is what I'm going to do. Okay, so we got one little problem here. And that's that that crab has started to chase after me. I got to get rid of him. But unfortunately... Everything I've thrown at him, as you can see, he's extremely resistant to. What about the pike? I'd imagine if I had, if I was close enough to pike him, he would... Yeah. Where are you running? Why are you running? Get back here. Why are you running? Why are you running? I killed an obelisk squid. This is not good. This is not good. Oh no. Hey, watch, 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 watch. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. If I can get him more than he'll let me go. He's breaking my armor. This is not good at all. He's got me trapped. Half health. This thing's gonna kill me. Oh, there's nothing I could do there. There was nothing, and now uh, I literally have to go jump off the waterfall, land in the water, and hope that I can run back there safely. And yes, by the way, people, we are still doing the death counter. That should be our 11th death, if I'm correct. Dang it. This is about to be our 12th. I can't even run because I'm bleeding. Hey, Ravengers, go the other way. Oh, this is bad. We're just going to keep running and hope I live. We're going to keep running and hope I live. That's all I can do right now. This is literally the worst thing possible. I'm suffocating, I'm dying, I'm being shot at. We're not going to survive the fall, alright? Where's the waterfall? Oh, no. Yep, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. That is uh, number 12. Actually, the game is telling me that was number 11. So that's what I'm going to go with, is that that was number 11. Alrighty, guys. After one skerfuffle later, um, I got some bad news. We lost him. We lost our little Cosmo. We lost him. That's not good. That is not good. Not good at all. Should also really not be doing that accent. But there we go. I just gave our buffalo, beeflo, our frog. We gave our frog its meat, and now we can saddle her up. And that is us a frog for today. I'm just, we lost our Cosmo. That's the, that's the saddening thing about today. We literally lost that buddy. He's been with us since day one. And we lost him. All because of a stupid stupid crab and honestly if I I don't think I would if I would have got back here I don't think I would have been there in time because I'm pretty sure he killed that crab killed my Cosmo and then scurried off because I jumped in the water and there was almost nothing down there so I mean it's it's saddening that we lost it and I yeah I'm just I don't know what else to do I need to find a way over to my base um, I'd like to say we're going to give that Cosmo a grave. We haven't done graves for creatures since, uh, ASE. So I might actually do a grave for him, but we never named, uh, that Cosmo. It might just, we just might call him first Cosmo. Oh, that's a nameless. We got to move frog. I'm sorry. No time to rest. That thing can spawn a reaper if we hang out too long. But yeah, we'll probably make that guy a grave and call him just First Cosmo. 
And I just walked onto an explorer note. Nice. I didn't even see it. Where is it at? Like, I literally just walked over it. Where is it at? Huh. That's epic. Uh, I literally just hit one. I can't even find it to show you guys where it is. I'm sorry about that. I, I don't see it back there. I might have hit it a little bit ago. Because I have noticed there's a bit of a... Sometimes like 10 second lag on that stuff when you pick it up. And we have made it home now, guys. Oh, there's a snake. Ow. Uh, I don't know what I was... I should have just done the pike. Yeah, buddy, you eat that. Yeah, he's not going to eat that. But I'm pretty sure for today, guys, that is going to be it. Just because we lost our Cosmo here and really can't go adventuring further out like I was expecting to do. I was going to go get some drops here to finish us off. Can't really do that right now until I get another Cosmo. So, until then, this is going to be it. So if you guys have found yourselves at all enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell and share the videos because that really helps out the channel and it shows that you guys support it. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori signing out. Peace.